In this video, we'll be talking about the most common effects and transitions that you'll be using in Premiere Pro. There are a ton of effects and transitions that you can add to your clips, but there's really only a few that I end up using all the time. So let's get into it. So the first effect is the Gaussian blur, and you'll use this effect if you wanna blur something out in your frame. So we'll go ahead and drag this effect onto our clip, adjust the blurriness to where we want it, and then we can create a mask and mask out whatever it is we wanna blur out specifically. So let's say that we wanna blur out this face. We'll create an ellipse mask, and then we'll drag that mask to the face, and we can adjust the points to make it how we want, and then we can go in here and adjust the mask feather, which will feather it out on the edges so it's not such a stark contrast. And now we'll just have to put keyframes to track the path of the mask to make sure that it follows the face when it moves. So we'll set a keyframe here by clicking the stopwatch button, and then as we move forward, we'll just set additional keyframes so that the mask is always following the face. The next effect we'll talk about is crop, and this is probably my most common effect that I use. Search for crop in the effects and drag it onto your clip, and now you can adjust the crop of the left, top, right, and bottom, as well as the edge feather, and if you want, you can also create a mask of your crop and even invert the mask so that it crops out everything other than what you're masking out. And now let's talk about the transitions. Your most common video transition is a cross dissolve. And you can do that by either clicking and dragging the cross dissolve to the beginning or ending of a clip, or you can right click on the beginning or ending of a clip and select apply default transition, which will put a cross dissolve there. And your most common audio transition is a crossfade. And the crossfade that I actually like the best and use the most is the exponential fade, because I feel like it's a smoother fade out and it just sounds better to me personally. But that's it for our most common effects and transitions. Take some time to look through all the effects because some of them may come in handy sometime. Other than that, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.